Right, okay, so with this new update 1.20 to Modern Warfare, they've actually given us the ability to customise and make our own blueprints. And now, as you can see here, I actually have a plethora of blueprints in this game through all the different categories. This is going to be a quite fun update for me to use, and I'm sure for a lot of you as well. <laughs> So yeah, for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how you can actually do this and go ahead and customise your blueprints. And I'm going to go ahead and swap out some of mine and stuff and then show you what they look like just to make some wacky creations. Okay then, so I'm just going to go into my loadouts here and starting off with the Cerulean, which is a Kilo variant if I go into my Gunsmith. And now what you can see when you are on the attachment, if you click on one of them, you can then click on this option to the right of it, which will then bring up your different versions of that attachment for the blueprint you have. So obviously, I have the default one, or the battle tested, or the dying light, which I can swap between, so I'm just going to put on the dying light for that one. And then for the nose stock, I always use nose stock on this normally, but we've got these single guard arms, I've got a couple of different options here again. So just swapping through the different attachments, for this one I'm just going to put on... I mean this one's not really too much changed, I'm just going to leave that on there. And then for the grips, I've only got one different stippled them, so I'm going to put the grub one on there just for that bit more of a white look. And then what have I got here for 60 round mags, I just have, okay the cerulean one which I'm going to use anyway. And then the commando grip, which is just, again I'm going to put the grub one on there. Um, so yeah, that's just one of the weapons, obviously that one's not really too out there, but that's just showing you quickly how you can actually do it yourself and change the attachments for the weapons. Okay, so now if I actually go to my MP5, I think I have a few different blueprints for this weapon, so if I go into Gunsmith for this one, and then for the brow, I usually use the Monolithic Integral Suppressor, but just for this video, maybe I'll just swap it out. So I've got the Light here, so I've got the Feeling Rusty, or just the regular Rampage on there, and the Mini, the Heat Cycle, and then the Flood. So I'm just going to leave the Flood on there, actually, for the red look, and then I would normally use the FTAC Collapsible. So what have I got here? Okay, so I've actually got the Sand Snake, so I like that look on there as well. And then the stippled, I can't really change that, what have I got here for this? Okay, so just the feeling rusty, so I don't really want to change that. And then for the mag, I have the 45 rounds, I've either got the rampage or the flood, feeling rusty. Again, I'm going to put on the flood there for the red look of the gun. I mean, it already is quite a red gun with what I've got on, but then maybe if I just put the sand snake on there as my underbarrel, and you can see there, I mean, again, it's not the best looking blueprint, but I'm just really showcasing what you can do with it now. I'm going to try and find quickly a gun which I can make look better, like some I've got like some pink and 444, so let me just figure some out quickly. Okay, so if I just quickly take a look at my AK-47, I know I have quite a few blueprints for this one, so if I see what I can do here with this one. Some muzzles, what have I got for my options? Okay, so we've got a sand sweeper in there, compensator, the black bear, let's put that one on. Barrels, I've got some different ones, the sand sweeper there, spetsnaz. Pink, oh there you go, pink perpetrator, let's put that one on there. Uh, laser, okay, I'm just get laser. Stock, what stocks have I got? Okay, for no stock, sand sweeper, I'm going to put the pink perpetrator on there again. Uh, rear grips, put the black bear rear grip on this one. Ammunition, I've got a couple of options. So we've got the steel curtain one in there. Uh, the black barrel, the pink perpetrator again. And then under barrels, what have I got in here? Opera four grip, sand sweeper, black bear. Okay, so I'm going to swap out this. I mean, again, it's just a weird looking blueprint really, isn't it? Um, obviously, I'm just doing this like first try, so I can just play around with these whenever. I'm sure you can as well. And just try and figure out what the best looking guns are. But right now, I'm just struggling to find what ones I have the best blueprints for. But yeah, that's another option. So yeah, another weapon I do have a lot of blueprints for is the M4. So if I just quickly take a look at what I just created here. Again, a bit of a mess of a weapon, but I've swapped it out for the Attack Light Soulful Wonder on there. And then I put the Forge Attack as my breakup variant. And then I've got the Strippled Grip Tape there as the Kingly Splendor blueprint. And then the Magazine as the breakup. And then for the Underbarrel, I've gone ahead and put the Kingly Splendid one on there again. And yeah, again, it's just a wacky looking weapon. And yeah, it's quite fun to do. I know it's a, like, a lot of people buy blueprints and they're quite annoyed you can't like swap it around and stuff. So it's good that they did add this in with this update. And just in game here quickly with some of these blueprints I made. And I'm not going to lie, these ones I've made are pretty ugly looking. But like I said, I've just literally come on the update and I wanted to show you how you could do them. And how you could change the different blueprints and stuff. So I will obviously make better ones when I just like fully go onto the game and try and figure out what I think looks best. But yeah, here's a couple. Obviously you saw the kilo there. It still does have the blue traces on it. But now we've got the MP5 where I've swapped like the cover up, the rampage and the sand snake on there I believe. And then we've got the M4A1 here with the anime. It does have the pink trace as well. And I think I've got the soulful wanderer as the barrel on there. And then the kingly splendor on the back there as the stock. And I think I've done one more weapon here quickly, just the MP7, 
with the Corinthian and I've swapped out I think what a Bengal stock on there and then the grub on there is the grip um, but yeah that's going to be it for the video so I just wanted to show you like I said how you can actually do this and just make some myself let me know in the comment section below what ones you make and if you like any of the ones I did probably not but um, yeah that's how you do it so make sure you drop a like if you did enjoy subscribe notifications on if you don't want to miss any future videos I've got a lot coming today on this new update and yeah follow me on Twitter and Instagram they'll be in the description below and I'll see you next time